Welcome to Shin Kobe Station. This is the Shinkansen Station for the city of Kobe. It's on the Sanyo Shinkansen line that goes from Hakata, well actually from Kagoshima, Hakata, which is Fukuoka, and eventually to Shinosaka, which is uh, the station in Osaka. Hey everybody, how you doing? I, I'm just spent 24 hours here for an award that I picked up from a company I work with. So it's great to be back in Kobe just for a little period of time. Last night we did a midnight food run. Today we're going back to Tokyo, but I thought this was a good opportunity to introduce you to Kobe Station. That is a city of Kobe up there. And for those watching, you might be wondering, what's the best way to get to Shin Kobe Station? Actually from Sanomiya, it's to walk. It's only 1.5 kilometers or like a mile. So it took, about, it took me 15 minutes to walk from Sanumiya Station to here, and I saved a, a few hundred yen. Taxi will take about 10 minutes and cost about 1,000 or 1,200 yen. It's only five minutes difference between walking and actually taking a taxi because of the traffic lights. Yeah. There is bus and there is subway, but unless you, if you're just going to Sanumiya, I, I recommend just walking because, all right, here's the secret information, on the way, there are about five or six very, very good bakeries. And Kobe is very famous for its bakeries, for its cheesecakes, because it has a European influence to it. This is where um, a lot of trade was happening. The Portuguese came in through Kobe. So they have a history of baked goods, and it shows, because it's so delicious. I have in my backpack, actually, a bunch of them. So let's go inside Kobe Station and check out this, um, this building that was built in, in 1972. And it doesn't look like it's changed much over the decades. Now, most of the Shinkansen buildings have been renovated, and Shin Kobe does not look like it has been renovated much, which kind of makes it look a little bit retro. There's nothing wrong with that. Kind of like it, in fact. Let's follow in here. All right, here's the entrance. The good thing about this station is that it is smaller and it's very easy to navigate. So if you're in a hurry and you take a taxi, you get out of the taxi and you're straight there. There's where you enter. Usually, if you're on a tour group, a lot of people will wait here. It's easier to pick up people in Shin Kobe than Shin Osaka. So some tour groups will start here. The window to get JR tickets is right here and it's a lot less crowded then Osaka Station, Shin Osaka Station. And here are the vending machines to buy tickets. I just bought mine. Here's the ticket right here. It uh, costs to get to, from Tokyo to Shin Kobe about $140, $130, depending on the exchange rate. And it takes about two hours and 40 minutes. This ticket will take you from Shin Kobe here to Tokyo or Shinagawa within Tokyo City, which is on the end of that arrow and I bought, the, bought it with a credit card at one of these machines. Very, very easy. I think it took six button pushes and I had the ticket. Six button pushes and I had the ticket. Before we go in there, let's explore um, the station area because sometimes they have some really interesting stuff here. Again, like, Kanai asked me to buy her a cheesecake, so I'm gonna do that. So let's go get a cheesecake. I, I saw one that had vanilla. I'm guessing that's the one that she wanted. She can feel the vibe here. Oh, that's the cheesecake I think she wanted. This is the vanilla bean cheesecake. All right, I better get one of these. Kobe Banera Fromage. ケーキお願いします。あ、ま、東京行くだからまあ、3時間ぐらいですね。はい。あ、わかりました。味変わってないでしょ。That looks good too. Ah, thank you, Lord Lionel. It's 
So they're giving me a frozen one so it'll last for three to four hours. That's really nice of them. By the time I get home, it'll be ready to be eaten. This looks so good. Look at, look at the topping on that. This is what Kun I wanted. I asked her, what do you want? Do you want flowers? No, cheesecake. Uh, あ、じゃあ、袋がいい。そうですね。あ、了解です。ま、奥さんにあげるだから。はい。あ、わかりました。はい。ありがとうございました。All right. I I try to be echo and not get the bag, but then I learned that you really should have the bag. Without it, it's hard to carry it. Now, in general, I said this last night in the in the midnight food live stream, but people in Kobe and uh, Osaka are generally a lot nicer. So you have a lot of a lot of gifts into here. Many of them are Kobe based. Cookies and cakes and chocolates. They're really delicious. And you can usually get these uh, on the platform, but there's more choices if you get them here than if you get them on the platform. That's typically the way to go. It, and you get a chance to put it into your, into your um, bag. Now this sandwich looks really interesting and I might snag one for the trip. Nick's Kobe Meat Shop has a, has a shop here and they have these sandwiches. And I know everybody likes to get that in Tokyo at that famous shop. But I gotta tell you, I, 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 a lot of people that have eaten it are not really satisfied because it's so expensive in Tokyo. Here you get really good um, Wagyu sandwiches for a lot cheaper. I wouldn't say a lot, but it's way cheaper. Is that the same? Way cheaper. We're in a new era, so a lot of the places are selling these Reiwa uh, certificates. On the right side is Heisei, that's, that's the period that ended, and there's the Reiwa, which is the new period, so it's neat to see some of these uh, being pickup gifts at the station to take home. We're in Rewa 1. Over here is a bento shop and you can see they're cooking um, bentos, ekibens, so you can take it with you. This one right here that they're advertising is about 1300 yen. Oh, it's gone. Oh, what's this one? Look at that octopus popping out of there. So I wonder what they're making here. This is a Kobe beef sukiyaki bento. That looks so good. Check it out. Oh man, really? And that's only 1,300 yen made to order. What? These bentos are made to order. You don't have to wait for it. You, you order it. They make it, you eat it on the train. Oh my word. I am, I am, I think I might have find what I want to eat. That's Kobe beef that they're putting on there. It's sliced really thin, which is fine. Usually they put sauce on it, so it doesn't matter if it's Kobe beef or not. You can't really tell the difference. When you, when you eat it with lots of sauces, it kind of takes away the, the flavor. You want to eat it with just a little bit of salt, but but it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's Kobe beef. You, you eat it because it's freaking Kobe beef. There's the sauce that they dip it in, and you can see this this meat there looks like it's just sim, just simmering inside of a salty uh, sauce, a dashi maybe. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's it's uh, yeah, just a sukiyaki soup. That looks really good. This bento is 1,300 yen. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh, here they are. It's on sale here. No, no, it's even cheaper. Oh no, it's 1,500 yen. So it's about $15. Should I get that? 
And then this one is a steaky bento. That's a, it's not Kobe beef, but it's, it still looks really good. Oh man. Made to order. That's ridiculous. Oh, here's the one with the octopus sticking out of it. What do you guys think? Hippori taco. Saka, wow. Just for visual impact, octopus has a, it makes a big impact in any kind of dish <laughs> when it's a tentacle like that. This looks so good. Those are the... Oh, this one is a Kobe steak bento, and it's so cheap. This is about $12 for that. And the one next to it is a meishi, but that's not, it doesn't, it's, this is arima gyu, which is another area. Wow, doshio. This is also Kobe beef katsu. So they've taken Kobe beef, breaded it, and deep fried it. And I, I don't know if that would be worse or better. I, I don't see why you would deep fry Kobe beef. It doesn't make sense. Hey, thank you, Joshua. And thank you, Remco. We will absolutely be getting an Ekiben because I'm not going home. I'm not going on a train without an Ekiben. That's insane. But my problem is, though, that I'm always presented with a dozen choices. I can narrow it down to four. And it seems like I gotta go with Kobe beef because I'm here in Kobe. And I don't normally eat Kobe beef when I come to Kobe. I just, I just don't do it. I, there's so many other things to eat. But this is, these are the choices you can see here. And we're down here by the meat. Look at that big chunks just popping out of there. And these look like two little boats. That looks good too. This is the Mount Rocco Bento. You see this? Mount Rocco is the mountain above the city of, of, of Kobe. This is a Rocco Mountain Bento. Oh. Oh, he, he ordered that one. I don't know, what should I get? What do you guys think? While I'm thinking about it, let's walk around a little bit more. Oh, let's go to this end of the of Kobe Station. My Shinkansen's leaving in about 15 minutes, so I have some time to take you around a little bit. I like these because if you can get oriented on the stations, you can tell whether or not you want to stop here. And if you do, you can make your way to the next point of interest really quickly. And here's a sign to point you in the way. There's only one real exit because the station, Shinkobe Station, is up against the, the mountain, Mount Rocco. So you can't really go the other way, which makes it easy. There's one exit. So you can hit the um, subway, the Hokushin uh, Kyuko line, which goes to Arima Onsen. That's one of the best onsen in the Kyoto, um, Osaka area, the Kansai area, Arima Onsen. And then there's JR Highway buses, Nun Obiki Falls. There's a baggage room where you can store your bags, a rent-a-car. Toyota rent-a-car was nearby. And then there's the lockers and an ATM. So it's pretty, it's, it's, a, it's a small station. If you compare it to Shinosaka, they're like totally different worlds. There's, there's some more lockers down there. They're, they're totally different worlds. All right, let's pick up a bento, go in and, and check out the trains. I know there's some people say, yeah, you went to Shinkansen station, you didn't go see the trains? Forget the gifts, forget the bentos, get to the train. Oh wait, check it out. You can get more Kobe beef. You can just buy Kobe beef here, check it out. So there's cuts of it available in the station. Let's just take a quick look. Oh, that's interesting. So that's not what I was looking for. Oh, here's the Hello Kitty Shinkansen. Hello Kitty Shinkansen goods. Hello Kitty stops here. Oh, look at the, the pet bottles are shaped like the Shinkansen. What? That's awesome. Do you see this? I should get one, they're, but they're like $4 for a bottle. You slap Hello Kitty on anything and you can just jack up the price by three times. People will buy it. That was a cool find. 
All right, let's go for the... Um, let's go for the Kobe Steaky Bento. Kobe no steak event, For business expenses, I always get Joshu shows, and you have to do that for taxes. Bentos are always a business expense for me because they can be. Oh my gosh, check this out! Look at the egg on it, and it's sold out. What? This is insane. That's insanely beautiful. And that katsu on the left side, and the karage. The chicken on the right, it just looks so good. I'm happy with my purchase. I'm not having second thoughts, maybe a little bit, but for now, let's just get out of here. I've got cheesecake, I've got a bento, I got Kanai's present, I got mine. I'm ready. So here's the ticket that I bought earlier. If you wanna learn how to buy a ticket from a vending machine, I'm at two live streams showing you how to do that. Hey, Neil Duncan, thank you. Any chance you can send the Bento to Australia? <laughs> There's always a chance. I would never say 0%. All right, so I'm looking to take this uh, 1206 train. So that gives me 11 minutes. Now inside of the station, there's not as much stuff. So once you've paid, and you've gone in, there's a cafe, and you can get some bentos, but there's not much. This way takes you to Shinosaka, Nagoya, Tokyo, okay? If you were to go the other side, it would take you to Kagoshima and to um, Fukuoka. We don't want to go there. We want to go here. So let's make our way up. I love these station live streams. This one is so simple though. Now I've taken, hey David Kiwanda, thank you. Thank you. So I've taken um, a non-reserved ticket. And the reason why I did that was because, see when you're in the middle of the line, if you don't, if you're not at the origin point, this, this Shinkansen I believe or originated in Hakata. It's gonna be harder to find a seat, but I know in about 10 minutes when this train arrives at Shinosaka station, like 80% of the train is gonna get off. Not many people go all the way on the Tokyo. It's quite far. You just fly instead. So I'm hoping by getting a non-reserved tier, I might be a little uncomfortable for 10 minutes. And as soon as everybody gets off, I'll be able to snag a seat right by the window. Um, and then I can ch chow down on this bento. And if you want to see pictures of the bento, you're probably going to have to go to Instagram. Because I don't know if I can do it um, all. But I will take you all the way to the inside of the train as we take off. That should be fun. All right, here's the platform. Again, not much here. It's really quiet. And you can see, as I told you, when you entered, you were up right up against the mountain. So this side is right up against Mount Roko. It's at the base of the mountain. And if you go on the other side of the platform, you have a really nice view of, of Kobe City. I remember I, I got off the Shinkansen and I looked out the window and you can see all the way down to the bay, to the harbor. It'll point you in the right direction. Non-reserved is this way. So let's do that. Now you cannot use the JR Rail Pass on, uh, on Nozomi trains. This is something I should point out. There are maybe, there's one or two Hikari train you can take every, every hour. You can't take the Nozomi trains. Those are once every like 10 minutes and uh, only residents who don't have passes who pay full price can do that. And I hate paying full price, but what can you do? 
there's the city of Kobe on the other side. So it's pretty neat um, to get off the train. I always stop and just look out at the city. It's a beautiful view because we're on top of the mountain. I'm not, we're at the base of the mountain. Now, it, it, it was around 2003 that they, the trains all stop here at Shin Kobe. But there were a lot of stories, and I think there might be some video of it, the rare occurrence where the Shinkansen will pass through Shin Kobe at high velocity. And of all the stations in Japan where the trains are going at high velocity um, and you want to see them pass by, this is the best because there's no separate track for the train to sit. If, you ever, I, I, if it ever happens, I might just come here. The train whizzes through that tunnel at full speed meaning it's going like 300 kilometers an hour down these tracks. There's no track next to it, so it's very close, the passing train going at full speed. And to stand on this platform, the wind just bullet knocks you down. They don't have, I, I, I think all of the trains now stop at Shinkobe, but it used to be that there would be one or two that would just continue straight to Shinosaka and pass through here. And whenever you see a Shinkansen pass at full speed, it is really cool because it just blows you away. Kids love it too. I've seen, the, I've seen kids on the platform when I'm watching on it. They're like cheering and everything because the train's going by at full speed. It's fun to see. This is neat. Now Kobe has a very famous um, a Chinatown. So it's China, its culture is, is very diverse here in Kobe and you can see that booth is kind of fitted in a Chinese design. So they probably sell ch uh, Chinese bentos. But Kobe's Motomachi Chinatown is really cool. A lot of good food. Kobe's got some really good food. But most of it is Western influenced. Or, or non-Japanese influenced, I should say. It's a little bit better. All right, you're gonna be, we're waiting for a couple of minutes. There's a 7-Eleven inside, a mini 7-Eleven on the platform. So you could snag a snack if you were on the platform. You didn't have time for one. You could get something. But I've got I've got a tea. And on on the um, train, usually they'll have a, a person selling coffee. Oh, here's another Ekiben shop. I see they don't have the same kind of choices. It's very limited. It's very limited. Let me see here. That's the same one I ordered though. So they do have the popular bentos on the platform. So if you if you stop if the train stops here for three minutes, if you have 1,250 yen ready, you can jump off, get the bento, and jump back on the train. That's something that I would totally do. You literally have a minute. You have to be the first one off, and then you have to get right back on. Just slap the money down and say, Kobe no steaky bento. Get it and run back on the train. And I think you could do it on time but it's not easy. Uh, here it comes. Okay, are you guys ready? Are you ready? If there is a seat available, then maybe I'll keep live streaming. I have the tripod ready. This could get a little messy. But we have 600 people watching, and I hate to let you down. I want to show you what this Kobe beef bento looks like. I won't be able to speak too much on the train, but let's see what happens. If, if it's crowded, then I won't be able to, um, to talk, and it would be rude for me to do it. But I have been known to push the limits a little bit. There was a, guy, a YouTuber that went to Shibuya Scramble, and uh, on, the scramble kosat, on the Scramble intersection, him and his friends brought a bed out and they tried to film a scene where he's on a bed. So they did it for, for 15 seconds and then when the lights started changing, they picked him up and started running off but they spilled him onto the ground where he got hurt. He, that YouTuber was arrested for something. I'm not really sure, but Hiroobi, which is a TV show, um, called me two hours ago to interview me about the YouTuber who was uh, um, not arrested, but the ranking, my, my top five Tokyo ranking list of places to visit, which is cool. So it'll be on the Japanese news in about an hour. 
Um, but th- it's been big news in Japan, this YouTuber who, who tried to film sh- on Shibuya intersection, and then he, he made a scene and hurt himself, and now they're going to probably crack down on, on YouTubers or stunts done in the middle of the intersection as a result of this. Because it just made an out, out. A lot of Japanese were were outraged by by it when they saw all the public endangerment to film something for social media. And Oh, this is car number one. I prefer car number two. Okay, where is this thing? She announced it. This is what it feels like to wait for the Shinkansen. So if you're on the... If you're waiting for the Shinkansen, this is what it feels like. It's not really much to do. Just kind of listen to nature. By the way, that's not a real bird sound. It's a speaker. The lengths that Japan goes to relax people on the platform. Do you hear the bird? Wait, it says Hikari, no entry. Hold on a second. This is car number three. Let's go a little bit further down. If you ask me, I prefer car number two. I don't see it yet. Uh, Here it comes. Well, it came through the tunnel. I was looking the wrong way. I'm glad that fate had me going this way. Look at it coming through the tunnel. That's awesome. All right, there are some seats. This might be possible still. Hey, Michael Kelly, can I get on in on that cheesecake? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. All right, guys. There's Shin Kobe. I hope you like this episode. I might continue this um, in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna see what the situation is on the on the train to sit down. I just don't want to be rude and talk, so you might not hear me speaking loudly anymore in my, you know, loud American accented voice. Oh yeah, it looks quite crowded. I might be able to snag something somewhere. If not, I'm gonna say goodbye. But you'll see by the length of the video where where we are.
you see. I think it's cooked well done. Um, I don't know. It's good. I mean, it was about twelve dollars. We'll see how how good this tastes now. Thanks for tuning in all the way to the end. Thank you, Mr. Das, at the end there. The verdict? Not worth it. I prefer the seafood bentos or something more local. Unless it's one of those bentos that I think is cooked right before you eat it. And there's something about a cold steak, which is not really good for Eki Ben. The idea is nice. The execution is not good enough. No, the bento's gotta be, the meat's gotta be hot, I think. Also, it doesn't really represent what what wagyu is. Cold wagyu is. Eh, it's all right, I guess. So I'm looking ahead. I'm looking ahead for the Umeda Sky Building. Oh, so it says it's going to be four minutes until we get to Shinosaka. Shinosaka is. Um, the, the word Shin, S-H-I-N, Shin, means new. So this this is New Kobe, Shin Kobe Station, New Osaka, Shin Osaka Station. And it was new because it was um, the access point for the uh, Tokaido Shinkansen, or the Sanyo Shinkansen. Now the Shinkansen line from Kagoshima to, uh, and Fukuoka to uh, Osaka is called the Sanyo Shinkansen, and then from Osaka it changes to the Tokaido Shinkansen. So the two lines are, are same but different. Should I get a hot coffee? Uh, they'll be back. Oh, here's the city. All right, good. All right, we got the city coming in. Oh yeah, there's a Thunderbird train. The Thunderbird train goes from uh, Osaka to Kanazawa. And now we're going to go right past Osaka City and we're going to end it in Shin Osaka. It's a pretty neat episode we did here. Here's the city. Oh, there's the Umeda Sky Building. Do you see it? It's kind of a ways from... Uh, it's kind of a ways from the Shinkansen. You can see it in the center of the screen. It's that building right there. If you guys like these Shinkansen videos, give this video a thumbs up. Oh, that's a great shot of the Umeda Sky Building. Look at that. I remember going past this in 1998 and going, whoa, Osaka is the future. Any, any city that can make a building like that is awesome. Look at that. somewhere in the in that in population of people over there now we're, we're coming in into Shinosaka station and then it's time to say bye bye I think I could snag a seat on the other side 
thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed this um, leave a comment below share a story that you've had in japan and uh, i'll see you in the next live stream